Okay, great. Um, good luck. Um, you may begin. Thank you. Okay. So respected judges, teachers, and fellow students, a very good morning to you all. I'm Marisa. And I, Divya. I here to debunk a scene from the movie Armageddon for this event, Fact or Fiction. So Armageddon 1998 revolves around an asteroid estimated to be the size of Texas set to destroy the Earth in 18 days. In an attempt to save the world, NASA sends a team of skilled drillers to land on the asteroid in the hopes of drilling a nuclear bomb into the center to split the asteroid in two halves. Here is a clip from the movie. As you can see, the walking drillers and the running machinery pose a threat to the laws of physics. Our research question. Can the gravitational field on the surface of the asteroid be similar to that on the surface of the Earth? Will the variation in the gravitational force affect the crewmen on the surface of the asteroid of mass m as it approaches the Earth, causing a decrease in the distance d with time t? Our independent variables are mass, time, and distance, and our dependent variables are the gravity and the velocity of the asteroid as it approaches the Earth. Our hypothesis. We believe that the variation would affect the crewmen's health and their activity on the asteroid. Why? Because the gravitational field experienced by the crewmen on the surface of the asteroid would not be anywhere near equal to that on the surface of the Earth, since the asteroid's mass is minuscule compared to that of the Earth. Also, there will be variations in the gravitational force experienced by the crewmen as the asteroid approaches the Earth. The reduction in the distance between the asteroid and the Earth would result in an increase in the force experienced by the crewmen due to the Earth's gravitational field. To determine how accurate our hypothesis is, we have conducted further investigations, which will now be presented by Elizabeth and Divya. First part of our investigation involved finding the gravity on the surface of the asteroid. We considered the asteroid to be approximated as a spherical object. The movie Armageddon states that the asteroid is about the size of Texas. We are comparing the movie's asteroid to Ceres, a dwarf planet, which is 73% of the size of Texas. Our calculations are based on Ceres' dimensions due to the lack of detailed information in the movie. From the clip, we can see the crewmen effortlessly walking on the asteroid as if they were on Earth. The mass of the asteroid is approximately 9.1 into 10 raised to 20 kgs, while the mass of the Earth is 5.972 into 10 raised to 24 kgs. Using the formula gm by r square, we infer that the gravitational intensity is dependent on mass of the source body. Hence, the gravity on the surface of the asteroid is around 3% of that on Earth, approximately 0.2414 meters per second square. This implies that the astronauts cannot walk so effortlessly on the asteroid surface. With each step, they would be thrown off a vertical distance of about 17.5 meters from the surface, which is not shown in the movie. However, the beginning of the movie does mention the use of direction accelerant thrusters, which would direct the astronauts and keep them on the ground. Nevertheless, it does not explain how equipment such as the transmission drill devoid of any thrusters is being hauled around tiresomely by two people when it practically weighs nothing or how it is kept on the ground. The second part of our investigation involves proving that the variation in the gravitational field should affect the crewmen. As we have already seen, the gravity of the asteroid is almost negligible. So the main force experienced by the crewmen is due to the gravitational field of the Earth. Thus, the asteroid is on the free fall towards the Earth. The drillers first land on the asteroid when it just passes the moon. In the movie, there is a point called zero barrier, after which even if they explode the bomb, the asteroid will end up crashing into the Earth. The crewmen remained on the asteroid approximately until the zero barrier point. The distance of the zero barrier point from the Earth is approximately 62,000 miles. Using the formula gm by d square, we can find the gravitational field intensity at a point in proximity to the moon and at the zero barrier. I at the moon is 0 0.00269 meter per second square, and I at the zero barrier is 0 0.04 meter per second square. The difference between the gravitational field intensities at the two points is 0 0.03731 meter per second square. That is, 
the gravitational field intensity at the zero barrier is approximately 15 times the gravitational field intensity at a point near the moon this proves that there is variation in the field intensities and thus acceleration is changing during the journey in this graph gravitational field intensity is plotted against distance as the crew men travel from the moon to the zero barrier point the distance from the center of the earth decreases and gravitational field intensity increases so the gravitational force experienced by the crew men is increasing variably at every instant the effect of the change from low to high gravity is not at all depicted in the film as they land on the surface of the asteroid the crew men in fact should be in a state of near weightlessness so any activity such as the drilling shown in the film should not be done with such ease also as the gravity varies our research indicates that crew men should experience certain physiological changes such as the inability to maintain blood pressure resulting in dizziness confusion fainting none of which is again shown in the film in fact the crew men are able to do work continuously and have enough consciousness to even disarm a nuclear bomb so to summarize we wanted to analyze the depiction of the drillers working on the asteroid and their stay as depicted in the movie based on our calculations and research we found a hypothesis to be true so in conclusion the scene under study is fiction we sincerely thank the judges and the teachers for this opportunity just as one asteroid would say to another hope we meet here again hope you had a blast thank you thank you thank you we would love to pick everyone's winners but we have to pick a winner and in first place we have dun, dun, dun. from gems our own english high school dubai elizabeth grace stanley divya lakshmi bp mirsa mascarenas well done congratulations Good.